If you want to pass your music exam, you must do some revision. I have made these videos to help you learn the things you need to know. Music theory, music theory, try and it will come to you, come to you, try and it will come to you. Okay, here is a video uh, asked for by Shana, a video on melody. Okay, so in the exam you may be asked to describe the melody or describe the excerpt referring to melody. Okay, and two words should be jumping in your head at this moment. The first being conjunct and the second disjunct. So a conjunct melody is one that moves by step. Okay, like this one. As you heard then the notes of the melody were very close together or conjunct okay it was an example of a conjunct melody no leaps in the melody there at all in contrast to that the following melody is an example of a disjunct melody so here you're listening for those leaps in the melody So in that example there were much wider intervals between the notes of the melody, so there were leaps there, okay, which makes it a disjunct melody. Okay, a little test now, I'm going to give you two excerpts, excerpt A and excerpt B. One excerpt features a conjunct melody and one ex excerpt features a disjunct melody. Your job is to decide which is which. Here is excerpt A. and excerpt B. Okay, so excerpt A was the disjunct melody, and excerpt B was the conjunct melody. Okay, excerpt B could also be referred to as scalic. Okay, the melody in excerpt B could be scalic, meaning it follows the notes of the scale. If you listen back to excerpt B, you might notice, or you may have noticed the first time you heard it, some, some leaps towards the end. Um, so mainly conjunct with some leaps would be a great answer. Okay, the other thing to bear in mind when describing a melody is the use of ornaments. Okay, obviously an ornament embellishes a, me a melody. Okay, so the first ornament we'll have a look at is the trill. Okay, perhaps the most well-known. You're going to hear it here, first of all, um, played by the cor anglais, then answered by the flute. Okay, it comes at the end of the phrase. And I'll indicate it by saying here. 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 OK, 
Okay, the second one we will have a look at is the grace note. Uh, this is indicated on the score on your screen by the very small notes with a little line through them. Okay, and this type of grace note is played as quickly as possible before the note after it. Okay, have a listen and follow the score and seeing how those little tiny grace notes are played. also encounter a sequence when you are describing your melody. A sequence where we have a short little phrase that is repeated maybe one or two notes above or below. Like in this example. So they had the same melodic shape, but starting on a note, one note lower each time. Here's another example of that, but in this case, the phrase starts on a note above each time. If you want to pass your music exam, you must do some revision. I have made these videos to help you learn the things you need to know. Music theory, music theory, try and it will come to you, come to you, try and it will come to you.